Hey yo everybody, I am gonna give you a quick tour of how my garden is coming along because it is looking real good, if you can't tell. Ignore the fence, it's, it's a problem. All right, so here I've got some aloe, and then if you look down here, we got this little empty pot. Again, ignore the fence. So here I've actually planted some shiso seeds, um, and those are an herb. I've never had it before, so that's kind of like a we'll see how it goes kind of thing. And this I've got on this wall, I've got a lot of kale, things like that. Strawberries are growing. These guys are doing pretty well. Um, they take a lot of water, so this is this guy's a little toasty, but I just watered them. And then we've got some zucchini coming in, and the zucchini is actually doing really well. I was very surprised. Um, again, just watered these guys. It's a little hot right now, so <laughs> a little toasty. Over here is the epizote. It is really doing well. It really enjoys um, this climate and seems to be pretty happy with the smaller pot. So also something I, an herb I've never tried before. It's in Mexican food, so um, looking forward to trying that. And then if we swing over past the rest of the strawberries and kale, we've got another bin of some kale down here. You can see it is very happy here. Um, it has done very, very well. It's actually kind of shaded the lettuce, so the lettuce has not done so well in this pot, but that's okay, because it has done pretty well in other ones. Um, these are radishes. Unfortunately, they did not really take off, it looks like. Uh, if you get down in there, you can see a little bit of root. So we'll see. I'll probably pull those up soon, because um, they're about at that point. Hopefully, some of them are edible. This guy here, I'm excited. It's my um, orange sweet bell pepper. Excuse you. Um, orange sweet bell pepper, so I'm looking forward to that. It's got some blossoms and things, so hopefully I will get some peppers soon. Um, I did just transplant it to this pot, so hopefully the bigger pot with more dirt will help it grow a little bit more, because right now it's just, it's a short fella. And if you come up here, we've got some peas and eucalyptus, just because I love the smell of eucalyptus. Um, these peas are doing okay. They maybe a little toasty up here, but they are coming over onto this trellis, which was definitely my intention there. More strawberries, even more strawberries. Can you tell that I like strawberries? We got these guys and little green white ones here. So those are producing, so that's super cool. And then lavender and flowers, just to attract the pollinators. This is a pot of green onions. Um, I like to use this in cooking and it's super handy because then I just have it. And right next to that is thyme, um, also good with cooking. And then if we come back up here, we've got this guy. So this is a uh, sweet frying Italian frying pepper. I have also never had these. Um, so I'm super excited and they're doing really well. So I just have to wait for them to get a little bigger and change color And then they should turn a red color. I believe I had to look it up because I wasn't sure <laughs> This guy here is my Thai basil um, If you have never had Thai basil, I highly recommend it. It is so good, especially paired with uh, like a lime dressing in a noodle bowl or something like that. Oh it's delicious. So I actually have two pots of this because I wanted to make sure I had enough this year. And then I've got my tomato plants. These are both early girls. So you can see the blossoms on them. They are already uh, getting ready to start doing some fruit. Hopefully they get pollinated and everything, but everything seems to be doing well. I've seen bees and butterflies and things up here, so should be good. I'm excited for those. Um, in front of them, I honestly don't remember what these are, so we'll see. That'll be a surprise. And then over here, I just got this cucumber in, so still have the pots in the way to keep the cats out, because boy howdy do they like going to the bathroom in dirt. It just feels so good. So <laughs> until this guy gets bigger, actually this is like three different plants, so until these guys get bigger, uh, those are going to stay. 
Um, there's that Thai basil. And then over here, we've got normal basil, Italian basil. Um, several plants there along with the green onions. And then another pepper. So this is a jalapeno. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Uh, making some guacamole maybe. And then I've also got this guy I've had for a while. So this is chamomile. Um, I don't do much. I made tea once, like picked a whole bunch of chamomile, turned it into dried stuff for tea. Um, here's some of the flowers you can see. Um, but I just don't drink chamomile tea that very much. But it's very pretty and the pollinators really seem to like it. So keeping that around. Here are my other peas that are doing really well. You can see here we're starting to get some uh, action happening. So that's really exciting. These guys are super happy. They're just, I don't know, they're not quite in as much sun, I think. So where the other ones looked a little toasty, these are just chilling. And then I've got some lettuce that's doing really well. Purple leaf romaine. Um, and then the poppies just they make me happy. Look at how pretty they are. Ugh, gorgeous. And then up here, we've got some mint. Uh, I honestly don't remember if it's spearmint or what kind of mint it is, um, but also really good in different like Asian dishes or you can use mint a little bit in Greek dishes. It's just very versatile, used in a lot of things. And then we come here. So I've got more lettuce. So you can see, and then also some um, upland cress. Yeah, upland cress. There we go. Uh, so it's very similar to uh, like watercress. It's related, but just a nice additional green to add to salads and things like that. And then I've got some more of that kale, which is also doing pretty well there. So good stuff. I'll come back around. Don't mind the kitty box for kitties. <laughs> I really need to get rid of this because it's just all kinds of chewed up at this point, but one of my cats just really enjoys laying in it. And here you can see I have got some more peas and kale. These peas are not doing quite as well as some of the others, but they're doing okay. Um, another Thai basil that I tried to propagate, but it's just struggling. Hi, Gwen. You gonna help tell people about the garden? Okay. Um, this here we got some cilantro, just transplanted that, so that's starting to get going here. And then a tomato, I did have a second tomato there, so I had four plants total, but it just, I don't know, wasn't doing well. It looked like it was about to die, so I just went ahead and removed it to give this guy some more space. And this is a purple tomato, so I'm excited to see what that produces as well. And then finally up here, I've got some garlic chives with my little frog in here, just peeking out. So this is really good uh, for like salads and just using in different things. Um, the tricky part, you can see these are all kind of mowed over. Uh, Gwen, who you just met, really likes to chew on these even though he's not supposed to. So I had to put them up in this kind of weird spot to keep them away, keep him away from them. Um, so hopefully now they'll have a better chance <laughs> to grow a little bit more that he is not getting up there and chewing off the tops. So anyway, that was the tour of my patio garden and just kind of an update on how everything is coming along. I'm super happy with how everything's growing this year. This is probably the most successful patio garden that I have ever had. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited and <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I'm super excited for seeing where it goes, and I've already started to uh, utilize some of the veg in my food, and that's really exciting. Um, yeah, and it's just really pleasant out here. So don't forget to go like this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see more of what's going on in my life and things like that. I do a variety of videos about my lifestyle, also about uh, business stuff and freelancing and entrepreneurial things and basically just my journey discovering what I want to do and how to get there. <laughs> um, otherwise, until next time, uh, peace out, Cub Scout.